What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. And when we left off in the last episode, we managed to commandeer um, this pirate ship, which basically got us a whole bunch of stuff along with some ion thrusters, I, the parts that I needed for my gravity generator, because who needs gold when you can just steal someone else's gravity generator? <laughs> um... So, I had an idea in, uh, um, in between this episode and the last one. I talked about building a base on this asteroid, which I might still do. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. I think I might, though. But what I got thinking about was kind of a, um, an idea of almost turning the shooting star into a Mad Max type ship. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we've got the ion thrusters and things on the pirate ship, as well as some other stuff, but I don't know that I really need, like, all of these cargo containers and blah, 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 blah. So what I'm thinking of is kind of turning the shooting star into an ever-growing base. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so my idea here is I want to keep the hydrogen thrusters because if I do end up trying to land on a planet or something, the ions are going to be virtually useless. So my theory here is to basically cut somewhere around here, I think, and make almost like Enterprise nacelles off the, off the back uh, left and right, and turn those into pods where the ion thrusters are, maybe a few extra blocks or something like that. Um, I may also try and find a spot for some extra reactors, uh, since I realize that this actually has quite a few of them. I don't know if I'll be able to make use of the large containers or not. I'd like to, but I just am not sure if I can figure out a design where I can incorporate those. Now, some people might say, well, why don't you just, like, take this back thruster off and just, like, put a merge block on the nose and just make a train or something? I mean, it would be more simple to just kind of play Transformers or Voltron and kind of, like, link them all up kind of thing. Um, but I think it's probably going to be a bit cooler and more simplified... Not more simplified. It'll just be cooler if I can basically break them down into um, take the parts that I want and put them on the ship. So that's what I think I'm going to try and do this episode at least. Um, and then maybe we'll explore a little bit more about what we could do with that asteroid or something. I'd like to find a, an asteroid field with some more resources, but that shape of the asteroid looks pretty cool. So what we may do is an outpost there. I may not make that home base. Like I said, I kind of like to turn the Shooting Star into an ever-growing home base. That's why I mentioned like Mad Max is because a lot of their cars looked kind of like you had put other cars and crap together, kind of piecemealed them. So I'm going to work on that, and when I get um, some progress made, I will come back and we'll talk more about what I did. Okay. So, I have been working on this for a minute, and I think I'm liking where we're getting so far. Um, this is kind of a full, completed version of the air quote nacelles that I'm thinking of making. Um, I did the design in creative, and then have been actually building it here in survival. Um, I think I like how it came out, though. I have pretty much the same thrusters as this guy, except for three. Uh, these three, I don't know, it just, in the design-wise, it just didn't work out. I also found a spot to put some more, um, oxygen farms, as you can see here. Now, one weird thing that I noticed, I don't, I don't know if this block right here is actually interfering with it, because uh, when I had these set up, I couldn't get them to go to four, even when I was, like, directly looking at the sun. These are in four. Um, but yeah, I wanted to leave kind of a before and after type setup for anyone who's interested. Because there are a few things like the batteries and stuff that are kind of hidden. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of what it'll look like when it's done. But this is the mechanical guts. The rest is just armor plating. And I hope this doesn't... Uh, I hope this doesn't get damaged. I didn't actually test it to make sure it wouldn't, but I've seen people do stuff like this, so I'm hoping it won't. 
I'm hoping it has to be like direct block in front of it kind of thing, hopefully. I didn't figure out a good way that matched the design and stuff to use the large containers. However, I did end up making use of instead of conveyors, there's a conveyor there, then there's two cargo containers, then another conveyor. So um, I did add a total of four smaller cargo containers again, which will help us a little bit. And obviously we've got six batteries, three on each nacelle. Now, the other thing I totally forgot about in this design, totally just did not remember at all, was the reactors. I was trying to find a place for those and I just completely forgot about them. Now, the way this is set up, I think I put a block over that, I think. Yeah, I think I ran it right to that edge. I was gonna say, I could probably put a reactor there. Maybe, potentially. I don't see that as being a problem. Let's see, it would be one block over. Eh. So it should be this one, but like down? I think. Yeah, okay. So there's nothing really around here. I could put one reactor there, one reactor there, and we would actually have reactors then. Um, because I don't think this one had reactors on it because I knew I didn't really have access to uranium or anything. So we'll probably put the reactors down in there. Um, I don't think I'll need any more gyroscopes or anything like that. The ship seems to be moving fine, at least out here in space. Now grant you, I'm doing this in space not like the design before, so I don't know how things will change when I go back to a planet, if the added mass and everything would be too much for it or not. I hope not, but I'm not honestly sure. I didn't test it, but I think it looks cool. I think we're getting there. Um, but I wanted to show the guts and the finished product. Now, the other thing I did think about is rotating these oxygen farms to be facing up and then maybe moving the solar panels like to the the top here. Um, snap, please. Kind of like this-ish, something like that. The only reason I don't like that is right now I've got four. If I move them like that, I'd really only have room for like two or three. And with this being a three block wide, my OCD would just bother me that I, I can't line them up. It would it would honestly annoy me. I could do it, but it would just honestly annoy me. So I'm kind of like, mm, I don't think I want to do that. Um, I did wonder if there was a spot to put them on the side of the nacelles or something like that, but I've kind of gotten carried away with the rounding or the angled edges. It doesn't leave me a whole lot of room to do that. So I think for now the solar panels are just going to have to stay where they are, which, I mean, it's kind of okay because this kind of negates the airlock on this side, so I'm kind of okay with it. I did add a merge block because uh, when I was moving the, the star around, I did notice that I was getting sparks here, and a couple of people had mentioned that they thought the, um, the anteater was actually damaging one of the blocks, and I was like, nah, it's fine. Uh, but this door was actually at like 60%, so it had been taking damage. I just don't know from what. It could have been the anteater, but there were sparks coming off from this connector area when I was moving this, so I don't know if it was the strain of this ship or the anteater. Either way, I locked a merge block to it because I figure when I'm done, this ship's going to be gone. So, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, we do have another gyroscope or two two, and four reactors worth. I'm not going to put four. Like I said, I'll probably do two. Wait a minute. Unless I do one on the bottom. Can I do one on the bottom? Oh, I could put one on the bottom. Okay. So just for uh, the sake of completion and you making use of the parts, I could take all four of these reactors um, and put them on the star. That would be good. I don't think I'll need another gyroscope because I've already got two. Do I have any room down here in these crevices anywhere where I put them before? Well, okay. I could add one more, maybe, since we've got it. 
Uh, actually, I could add another one there. Wait, wait a minute. Why do I have so much room? I feel like I should be able to put something else in this space. Um, hmm, like a, a conveyor and then a, a elbow and then something. Like maybe a oxygen tank or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of actually playing around with it because this ship that we caught actually had enough stuff on it. Um, like it had oxygen tanks and things, so I don't necessarily have to build everything other than maybe some steel um, to actually make use of some of this. I'm like, okay, I've got the stuff to do it. Um, so we'll put four reactors on it, just even as a backup. Maybe push come to shove, we could always put a gyroscope here and on the other side. And then still maybe have a two block space for something with an elbow here. This is, wait, can I actually do that? Hold on. No, okay, that's not elbowable, which is totally a new word. I could put a storage grate here though, maybe. So maybe a gyro, a gyro, and a storage grate since that's connected. That could work. Something like that. Anyway, um, the other thing that I didn't think about that people have been recommending to me is weapon placement. And we do have at least two Gatling turrets we can use, along with a couple of interior turrets um, that we can make use of. So I do need to think about that. One of the things I'm thinking is right here, because I left this block a different color because that's the direct connection to the thruster up here. So I may put one there, like, either on top or set in. I kind of like the set in idea, but I don't know if that'll limit its range. Um, and I don't know if that means I should do it on the bottom. Oh, I have a thruster there. Ugh, okay. Or maybe on the sides. How does this look out here? Do I have a spot where I could put them on the sides? Hmm. I don't know. I'll play around with it. But anyway, that's the progress report. Um, I'm going to finish up this nacelle and then maybe see if I can... And we'll add the reactors, gyros, storage container, and then maybe see if we have a spot for a couple of weapons. Although... Although... I could run a connector up here and put a gun there and there. Since we have two... Maybe. Maybe. Something to think about. Anyway, um, I'll let you know when I figured out what I'm doing. Okay, so I wanted to show this while I had the side compartment open here. So this is what I kind of ended up on. Because at first I was like, well, I want to keep the, the bottom completely flat in case I need to land it. But then I kind of realized... I don't have any landing gears or anything on it, and the connection port's up there, so I don't really need to land land, like, on the ground with this. So I might as well put some under weapons, or under weapons, uh, ventral. Let's, let's get all technical and be professional. The ventral weapons on here. Um, so yeah, we've got two on the top, two in the bottom, but the way all these are configured is kind of like this. So, like I said, I put a... Uh, there's the main entrance to the back. So I put a reactor there, conveyor, and it basically goes reactor, conveyor, um, tube, and then gun. And then we just kind of cover it all up. So, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I put a block on the wrong spot here. That's not supposed to be there. Oh well. Yep, I did. Okay. So yeah, I wanted to show that um, before I closed it all up. And I did confirm that these are what's blocking um, this from being at four pips. So when I broke these both down um, to a scaffolding level, I think they were okay. Um, but once I welded both of them, then it was three, and you can see that there, that's four, that's three, but we've got two of them going on each side, regardless of, like, which way you angled it, um, so I don't think that's too much of a problem, and, um, I also set the sun to stop rotating, because it was bothering me that I kept having to spin the ships to keep the 
solar panels and stuff aligned when scientifically I shouldn't have to do that. I had a discussion about that in the comments on one of my other videos recently uh, where we were discussing the you know, the way that the, the game does it versus the way it should work in real life, and I'm way outside the Earth's atmosphere, so I'm definitely not in, like, an orbit or anything like that. Um, so theoretically, if I'm sitting still, I should just be sitting still, and the sun should be sitting there, and the Earth and all these other things should be rotating around the sun, so I don't really feel like it's cheating to turn off uh, rotation, because the way that they have it set up in the game, the planets don't actually rotate. Um, or move at all, really. They basically just have the sun spinning around the universe kind of thing, which is kind of weird, but I digress. Anyway, so I stop the sun from moving while we're out in space, and I'll just turn it back on when we end up on planets or whatever. So that's the progress so far. Um, I did... Oh, yeah, I meant to show this too, since this is opened. Um, if we come back in here... Uh, we've got... I do have the two extra gyroscopes welded up. Yeah, it was two, right? Yeah, and then they've got the extra storage container here, so that's all well and good. I think at this point I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much done with functional blocks, I think, at this point. Yeah, I, I think everything's welded up. So, at this point I'm kind of just breaking all this down, throwing the extra components in the ship, and taking the steel, and we're welding up the, um, the, the side plating of the nacelles. Now, since this is open, I can kind of show you a bit more, too. Um, so there is, for future planning, there is, um, a couple extra spaces in here on both sides. I think I can still get in here. Yeah. So the outer hull on the nacelles is done, but as you can see, we have a compartment through here. At the moment, I'm just adding steel blocks, but were we to find that there's something else we wanted and or needed to do, I could always convert these tubes into a conveyor port and then, you know, run an elbow or something to do maybe another oxygen tank or something. Like, I could do some other things with it, so... Um, Actually, it's a good idea I'm letting you know all this because in case I forget, I'm sure someone will remind me when I'm like, man, I don't have a place to put it. Hey, what about that extra space that you just filled up with blocks? Oh, right. So there's that. But at the moment, it's just steel um, to, to fill the gaps and whatnot. But So that's basically how I'm kind of approaching it. So, um, yeah, I think everything's almost done. We're getting pretty close. And I'm going to finish up the nacelle here and filling in the gaps of the side compartment here. Um, after that, I'll probably just be breaking down this ship and transporting all of the materials over here. Uh, one other thing that did get a, a recommended was to put... Actually, I could probably just come in here at this point because I need to dump some stuff. Um, oops. Oops. I always hit the wrong button combination for taking off my helmet. Um, a couple of people said to leave the contracts block because it will help me keep track of contracts that I may uh, sign up for, or it may allow me to get them, or I'm not really sure. I, these two blocks are a little unclear for me at the moment, but the store, everybody's kind of said, isn't really useful. Um, that it's pretty much for if you're doing an AI station or faction base or something like that, but or if you're an admin on a server or something like that, but for just playing around, not really that useful. So one of the recommendations was to put a cryo chamber here as an easy way to refill gas and power. And I, I don't think it restores health, but we have the survival kit right here that can restore health, which is no big deal. Um, and and uh, ironically enough, I didn't realize it, but this ship had a cryo chamber on it, so we might do that too. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and finish up the nacelles, and we should be about ready to wrap up this um, commandeering situation and Mad Maxing the shooting star. <laughs> well, um, I wasn't expecting that exactly. <laughs> so. 
funny story about this. Apparently, if uh, you have things set up hooked with a merge block, and then something disconnects from the merge block, but is still technically considered a part of the other um, ship that is not part of a friendly faction, the guns shoot it. <laughs> so I was working over here and I tried to break a block as you can see here. I thought I had it connected correctly, but apparently when I broke the block it disconnected and as soon as it disconnected um, it started like exploding and I was like, why is it exploding? And then I noticed this was shooting at stuff. So I lost one of the cargo containers. Thankfully I had been dumping everything in this cargo container over here. Um, I think there was a little bit of glass or something in that, but I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, that's, um, that happened. <laughs> Thankfully though, our anteater was on the other side. So I'm pretty sure it's safe. It almost acted like a buffer, but uh, I mean the guns work. So, <laughs> so there's that. All right, and there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Shooting Star Mark II, complete with weapons, reactors, and uh, more oxygen generators and ion thrusters. So yeah, um, I know, you know, it's kind of one of those, it's not like the craziest design or anything like that, not the coolest looking thing I've ever done. Well, probably the coolest looking thing I've ever done, not the coolest looking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, but I like how it came out. I think the I think the nacelles on the back are a nice addition. It makes it look like a cooler, bigger ship. I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, but yeah, we completely broke down that other ship, added it to our own. I like the Mad Max approach. I really do. I like the whole uh, find a new ship, break it down you know, and add to the existing ship. Um, as for what we could look to add next, I'm not really sure. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to do was I did not actually add the um, cryo chamber yet, so I need to do that. But yeah, I think, it, I think it came out pretty good. Now, grant you, it would require some modification to continue adding further back, like if we wanted to do you know, more thing, but uh, that's kind of almost the appeal. That's almost what I like about trying to do this Mad Max one big ship thing, is when I do stuff like this, it's gonna force me to think outside the box for design. Like, well, what do we do now? Well, maybe we've got to go off of this and go up and over and do some weird, like, I feel like doing it this way, I'm gonna come up with a cooler ship design that I have not, I wouldn't really do normally because I'm I'm working purely off of function and then kind of trying to do form if that makes sense that's my that's my thought anyway um, so the other thing is to get rid of the store block now I'm hoping that when I break this I'm actually gonna close this real quick um, that's fine well no actually it's not fine I want that closed and we're gonna turn our helmet on because I don't have any vent in here now. So if we lose any air, it'll just be what's in the room. I think I've sealed this up already. Yeah, okay, we're good. Just a precaution. Just wanted to make sure. I couldn't remember if, uh, if I had it set up or not to where that was keeping everything from, uh, from breaking. So let's see here. We do have a. Oh, we don't have a port on the bottom. Ooh. 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 Well, that's not. That's not good. That's not gonna work. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well. I mean, I guess I could do it this way, maybe? <laughs> I mean. I don't like it. I, I don't like how that works. Um, I am gonna close this again real quick because I gotta play around with something. Uh, what about you? I just wanna look. What's on the other side here? Uh, apparently that's all sealed too because we're not losing our air. Oh no, I don't have any air in here. Never mind. I have my helmet on. Let me do. 
Yeah, we don't have any here. Okay. Um. Oh crap, that's on. Close it. Um, I mean, I have oxygen farms and everything. I just don't want to drain my tanks for no reason. Um, I. Hmm. All right, you get out of the way. What are you? That's a conveyor. Is this open? Tell me it's not open. Okay, that's not really open. So, what I'm thinking. This does add a little bit more blockage, like weight that- oh, pff, that's a ramp. Uh, like weight that isn't necessarily needed, per se. Um, but I want to make sure that everything is sealed up. Oh, I do have some steel on me, okay. Um, so I'm just going to put a few blocks here. And we'll put one here. That way, you know, it's kind of one of those, like, do we need all that extra weight? Probably not, but I kind of just want to make sure that the, um, yeah, that's all block. That's a conveyor. So that should be sealed now. Um, let's double check. Low. Hi. Okay, cool. So we're sealed up now again. Yeah, so, what I'm gonna do, if I can find the conveyor, is grab a corner, weld that up, and in case you're wondering, some of you may be wondering why, are, why am I going to this instead of using the survival kit. I intentionally left the survival kit disconnected from the conveyor system, and the reason being that I was primarily just using it to respawn energy and health, right? I didn't need it for hydrogen or anything like that because I was using bottles, blah, blah, blah. But the biggest reason is if this is hooked up to the conveyor, um, it seems to want to just kind of like grab it for production. Why? I don't know. Uh, but it seems to just kind of like, oh, so you have like three assemblers but you naturally just want to use the slow survival kit right no i don't <laughs> you know, like, why are you doing that um i don't actually know what i need for this i wasn't paying attention i was talking uh, displays motors and computers i think is all i need now should all be in one i had to actually use a couple of different um, uh, cargo containers to hold everything because I was getting enough parts. Um, that's not what I need. Displays, computers... I don't remember the other thing. Let's just do those. <laughs> motors. That's what it was. Always need motors. Okay. So we have a cryo chamber now. Yay! Um... Why? No fuel. Okay, there it is. I was gonna say, why can't I access this? And we're gonna go shooting star cryo. I don't think this really needs the inventory or the block terminal, so we're gonna turn that off. But that's probably a better option than the store. Um, now. No. Okay, it doesn't have an on-off, so it's just, it is what it is. So that'll be convenient for... Now here's a question. Oh, it doesn't refill the bottles. Dang. I was hoping it would. Oh well. Oh well. Um, let's see. Four... Where did I pull from? Five has room. This is kind of how I've been doing things, is just when one got full, I'd move to the next one. Um, and I actually had to use a lot more than I thought. And the last thing I want to do is get all of this scrap into the refinery, because there's no real reason to keep it in the, um, there's no real reason to keep it in the inventory. So, I think we're doing pretty good for this episode. We kind of Mad Maxed our ship, as opposed to Min Max. Um, <laughs> and added some ion thrusters. Now, that's the only other thing... Were you supposed to be thrusters? 
So I changed that to be hydro. Where are they? Hydro thrusters. Hydro thrusters. Um, toggle block on and off. And I guess just here for lack of reasoning. So if we turn these on, we should have a little bit down. Again, I only have like one or two total. Um, but descent, I'm not as worried about. So up, down, left, right, forward, and reverse. So we should have all our cardinal directions. And again, um, because of the way that they work, we're not going to get like a super crazy acceleration, but this way, when we're in space, we don't need fuel um, to fly around. See, even on our current setting with our solar panels and batteries, we got three days, which is pretty cool. And so yeah, I think we're pretty good at this point. We've got some weapons, we've got ion thrusters, we've got um, more oxygen farms, we've got our solar panels, more batteries, more storage. Not that we need more storage, <laughs> we probably need some more storage at this point. So yeah, I think, um, let me actually not get too far from our platinum asteroid. That may be our goal next episode, is the platinum asteroid, because I have enough supplies now from materials grinding that other ship down, we may be able to work on an outpost for like a resupply type thing. But with that, we're going to wrap things up here for today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.